Hi guys, welcome back to this series of videos on using Google Sheets with iPads. Last time we were looking at viewing and sorting, including navigating around the workspace, sorting data and using filters as well. Next, we're moving on to charts and images, including the benefits of charts and why they're a valuable way of representing data, different types of charts like bar charts, pie charts and line charts, and different ways of editing charts adding legends, titles, colors, for example. We're also going to look at including images in our sheets, whether that's in a specific cell or over the top of cells, and resizing, cropping, and rotating to suit our needs. So let's get started. Again, I'm adding a link to the Google Sheets that I'm using in this video so that you can follow along and experiment with adding and editing charts as you watch the video. So why is it a good idea to represent data using charts? Well, charts help you to visualize things quickly so you can see the data really clearly and make any connections or spot any trends very quickly. You can also use charts to tell a story with data as a way of sharing information with other people. And you can share charts by adding them to presentations to get the attention of your viewer. So the first type of chart we're going to look at today is a bar chart. And I've got this set of data here that we can use to create our first bar chart. I'm going to go ahead and select the data that I want to include in the bar chart, including the names and the scores. And if I go up here to the plus button, tap on chart, and you will see that it automatically creates a bar chart for us, including the names along the bottom and the scores. Press done, and that's now inserted into our sheet. Now, I might also want to um, let me delete that. I might also want to use the surnames instead of the forenames, in which case I can just select these two columns and do the same again. Add a chart and you'll see now that the surnames are along the bottom instead of the forenames. Press done and there's the chart and we can move it there to the side. The next type of chart that we'll look at now is a pie chart. And you can see here that this time I've got uh, a list of grades, three different grades, A, B, and C. And I want to create a pie chart to show the percentages of how many got an A, a B, and a C. So again, I'll select all the data, tap plus and chart. And this time you'll see that a pie chart is created automatically. If that's not the case, you can choose the charts, the type of chart over here. But here it is. You can see the amount of A's, B's, and C's just from the three different colors. And we'll talk later about how to add percentages uh, to a chart like this as well. Press done, and there it is. And we can just, again, move that to the side. And the third type of chart I'd like to show you is a line chart. So this is used for when you have some data that perhaps changes over time. So for example, here, I've got some different scores over several months. Again, I'm going to just select all that data first tap plus and chart and this time it comes up with a bar chart but we can easily change that to a line chart like this so here's our line chart press done and it's inserted and you can see that that shows uh, visually our scores changing over time over the different months now once you've made your chart you may want to edit the look of it in which case you can tap on the chart and either tap on this edit icon up here or tap again and tap edit charts. You can change the type of chart if you want to change it to another type. You can change where the legend goes. Perhaps if you have more than one color in your charts, you might want to add that legend. And you can also change the titles. For example, I might add total points scored as the title for this chart. You can also change the titles of the axes. For example, the horizontal axis here, the names and then that will show there at the bottom. And finally, you can also change the color if you want to um, change the style of your chart. When you're ready, press done, and those changes will be updated. You may also want to resize your chart, in which case you can tap on it and just use this handle here at the bottom right corner uh, to change uh, the size of it, and you can also drag and move it to a different position. Now, the last thing we're going to look at is inserting images, and you can do that in the same way as inserting a chart by tapping the plus button here, and this time uh, tapping image. Now, you've got two choices here in Sheets. You can either insert an image into a cell that will fill the cell, however big that is, or you can select image over cells where they, the image will be just on top of the cells that you choose. So 
As an example here, I'm going to tap in image uh, in cells from photos um, and then I'm going to choose one to add in. Okay, and you'll see here that it, it like I said, it fits the size of the cell that you put it in and you can change the position that it is inside that cell. And if you want that cell to be bigger, um, then you can tap on that and expand it a bit. Okay, so that's the first way. The second way is to add uh, an image again, this time over the cells. Again, I'm gonna choose it from photos um, and let's have that same photo here. And this time you're free to move it anywhere, a bit like the charts from earlier, you size it. Um, you can see that it behaves a bit differently to adding the, the image inside the cell. So they're the two ways that you can add images in Google Sheets. So that's it for this part on charts and images. Next time we will be looking at how to link Google Sheets to Google Forms so that you can collect and analyze data that you've collected from a form. See you next time.